Hello friends, friends, Stephen Talbot here, of course, and uh, today is Thursday, January 25th, 2018, and as you can see, there's the big yeller, the big yeller truck back there, uh, the movers just arrived, and uh, they are, we're actually at Kenny's Salon, over there somewhere. And so the movers are moving this stuff now. <clears throat> we, we have every, I mean, we have everything packed up here, and we have everything packed up at her house. So now the where uh, she her salon was about mm, 30 minutes, well, 30 minutes, I guess, 25 minutes, 30 minutes away from her house. So the first stop was the salon. They're going to go ahead and pack that truck up with salon stuff. Then we're going to go to her house and get that all packed up. Then. Um, Today's Thursday. We're 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 gonna either stay in a hotel or actually Keeney's mom has a house in Tampa, which is like 40 minutes from here, and uh, so we'll probably spend the night there or get a hotel room. And then we're actually not leaving until Saturday. And the reason for that early Saturday morning, probably four or five o'clock in the mornings, in the mornings, probably or, or the reason why is because my friend Keeney has a friend who is gonna be riding with her. I'm going to be driving the truck by myself, and I would actually prefer it that way because, oh, scratch my, um, I actually prefer it that way because um, I'm going to be having my Bluetooth headphones on, and I'm going to be jamming, not jamming, what am I talking about? I'm going to be listening to my Audible book, or my several Audible books, something that I started a while back and never had a chance to finish, uh, and then that'll give me a chance as well to catch up on my um, uh, podcasts. So that'll be cool. Um, I imagine it's probably going to take probably 15 hours, probably be driving for about 15 hours. Um, anyway, my friend Keeney's uh, fr other friend, which I cannot, her name escapes me right now, uh, but I do know her. She, we actually went to uh, the Dominican Republic together a while, about like three or four years ago. And she has to work until Friday night. So we're going to leave about 4 o'clock in the morning Friday. And we'll be driving about 15 hours. Um, shit, I forgot what else I was going to mention. Oh, oh my God. So at first, it was going to be the biggest truck that they offered. It was a 26-foot truck, right? And, you know, it's hard to, like, judge. At least for me, I'm like, I don't know what the hell a 26-foot truck that looks like. And she thought that she needed the biggest one, especially because we were moving a salon, a business, and a residence. So we pull up to the Penske place today and the guy like takes us out to all these trucks and he's like giving us a tour of the truck and we're walking around it and he's showing us how everything works. And I'm like, and I'm sure Kenny can look at my eyes and see. And she was like, whoa, this is a big truck. I mean, this truck was enormous. Like it had like three steps just to step. It was like a damn semi truck. It was like three steps to step up in it. And like, it was crazy. And, and uh, she said, can you drive this thing? I was like, yeah. I mean, it can't be that much more difficult than driving a, you know, a car and they don't require a special license for it so i'm not that worried about it although i you know as i said that we were the guy was walking us around to make sure there was no scratches on the truck and stuff i was like "Ooh, this thing is huge and then he was like and don't forget to watch out for height signs as you go into bridges and through drive-thrus and stuff like that and i was like oh my god this thing is enormous and so we got to looking and she was like i mean we were i mean we were both like man this thing is like for like a 10 bedroom house this thing is absolutely too way too big and so we settled for the 20-foot 20, 20 truck, or the 22-foot truck. I think it's, I can't remember now. But anyway, that, my friends, is the truck that you see behind me. And it is more manageable. It's still bigger than a U-Haul, the last U-Haul truck that I drove. Um, but I've never driven one, like, 15 hours, but it's not that big, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. This one's much more manageable. The other one, like, was literally taller than this building. I mean, it was so tall and so huge. So, uh, yeah, I feel much more comfortable. And I've already driven the truck about 30 minutes so far today. It's easy. It's easy to drive. I mean, I've driven trucks before, but definitely nothing like this 26-foot truck was um, at Penske today. I mean, that thing was just enormous. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not so intimidated by it, by this one. <laughs> um, I guess that's really all I have. I know that I have not um, done, like, a value add type um, tips and tricks and learning from you know sharing my experience of uh, things that i've learned i haven't done one of those videos in a while and i promise that there will be more of that forthcoming um i know i get a lot of thumbs ups on those videos types of videos so definitely be looking out for that um 
I actually have like I keep every time I think of something that I can talk about I actually have uh, a little my little journal I keep track of that kind of stuff in and I forgot it at home and not that I'm not creative and can't come, come up with something else but I've just honestly been really busy helping um, packing stuff up and helping Kenny tie up some loose ends um, you know it's crazy I've never moved out of state uh, before ever I've always lived born and raised in Nashville um, and I can't imagine having to like you know it, it, they're always moving in the past I always had like days of overlap so you know I'd have both places for a couple of days overlap so I could finish up loose ends and you know transfer your cable service and do all that kind of stuff I can't imagine having to like completely be ready to go and like that's it you know what I'm saying like once you leave you're done 15 hours you're moving 15 hours away so I'm sure this this experience has been really stressful to her and I'm sure she can't wait to get it over with uh, <laughs> At least the packing's done, which is always the part that I dread the most. Uh, and I have to say this, too. I have moved quite a few times. I've, I've moved, you know, when I first moved out of my mom's house, I moved to, to, in with a friend, and then I moved here and there. I probably moved seven or eight times throughout my life. And I can tell you that moving days, are, or, or even the days leading up, are the most stressful days that I can remember in my life. Um... And I was thinking for some reason that that, bur that burden or that stress would, would, would sort of be on me as well when, as I've been down here, but it's not, and it's actually kind of wonderful. So, but I, I also empathize with what she's going through, you know, because, yeah, stress, uh, moving is, is, is just very, very, very stressful indeed. Uh, but I, I'm sort of just like carefree. I'm just helping. Tell me what you need me to do, and I'll do it. That is all I got, my friends. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. If you like this video in particular, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, or if you think I'm cute, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, enjoy yourself.